Right, so I did my first ever time trial today um, on my TT bike, which I haven't really ridden that much, probably only like two or three hours today before today. Um, but today I actually spent like four and a half hours on it. So anyway, uh, we'll just go into like the power numbers, you know, what was going on, how I can improve and everything else. Right, so average power was 304 watts, weighted average power, I don't know, that's stupid. So 304 watts is pretty not great for me. On a climb at the moment, I could probably do about 345, I reckon. So, you know, 340, 345 for sure. So, you know, that's that's a good 40 watt difference, um, which isn't which isn't great. So that's one thing for sure that I could improve. Um, so if we go into the analysis of it, um, you can see I started off pretty conservatively, you know, went out the gates pretty hard, but you know, first bit was 327 for two minutes, which maybe was a little hard. My goal was to try and hold 320 for the first five and then just see how I was. So I guess I held, you know, maybe the, for the first five um, or oh, first two minutes, 320 watts. So that's roughly around. And then we went through around the roundabout. And I think I probably lost a bit of time here, backed off the power a bit too much, sprinted up. You'll see here though, um, there's quite a big downhill and I just don't have the gears. I'm on a 5011 and I need a, a 52, 54 probably because you still need to be putting out power. And you can see I literally can't pedal here because it's like 115 um, RPM. And people might say, oh, you can pedal at 115 RPM. It's like, yeah, but at threshold, that's just not efficient, um, especially at 300 watts, like 350 watts or whatever. Or, um, well, three, 300 to 320 watts, which is what I'm aiming for. So I definitely need a bigger chain ring. So that's one thing that for sure I can prove. How much time will that save me? You know, a little bit on I can pedal more in downhills, but also obviously chain line efficiency and the rest of it. Then after another roundabout here, so you can see every time the speed drops, that's often a roundabout or a slight uphill. Um, we then sort of get back into this long section which is slightly downhill with a tailwind. And you can see 310 watts, 47 Ks now. That was super fast, really enjoyed that. Um, and then, you know, it goes slightly sort of um, round and roundabout again. Um, and last downhill, this was quite fast as well, 52 Ks an hour. So that was good fun. Um, and then get to the U-turn. U-turn, a lot of people crash. I didn't crash, so I reckon that's probably quite good. And then this is the long drag uphill and 307 watts. And this is really well, I just into a headwind Slightly uphill, does suit me, but into a headman as a small lad, like 35 k's an hour, that's really where uh, I, didn't, I didn't do well. And then the last bit here, I sort of pushed as hard as I could, held 315 for the last minute or so. But, you know, I'd say I definitely had more in, in me for the day. Um, you can see cadence is pretty high, 91 if we exclude the initial spike and sort of have that. 90 cadence, you know, that's what you want to be doing. Um, I reckon in terms of pacing, I was probably about spot on, but I think I could still push myself harder. Um, and I just need to get used to riding the TT position. So I'd say that's one thing. So from just analysis of just my own performance, like in terms of what I can do quite easily, get a bigger gear, that's that's not, not too expensive, quite easy to do. Um, just spend more time in the TT position, obviously, um, and just concentrate, you know, on um, you know, trying to really eke everything out and get super motivated. But anyway, what I wanted to do was compare to people, like how aero am I? Because, I mean... So I have a new power meter on this one, so it's a 4ii. So if anyone's mugging me off about my stages being over-reading, I reckon this one probably isn't. So today there were 38 people, I believe, who um, I tried it, uh, tested the course, or tested the timekeepers, as they like to say. The guy got the PR, uh, 355 watts, 1941, 350 watts. And you, know, and you can see, like, the power needed to win these open TTs isn't that crazy. I thought it would be a lot higher. Um, but I think the thing is, it's the arrow, um, which is the real thing. So you can see this guy was a minute and 30 seconds quicker than me and did the same power. I mean, I'm going to check if his power did drop out, but that is probably because he had a skin suit. I don't have a skin suit. Arrow helmet. I don't have an arrow helmet. Deep session wheels. I was on training wheels. Um, probably had a bigger tooth chain ring, more efficiency. You know, there's just small things that I, I'm not making excuses because like in reality, like fair play, he did a good ride. Um, but I'm just saying like, you know, if I want to get better, like I could, de I can definitely improve my performance. Um, but yeah, he was doing like 300 watts here. Um, and obviously you can have error testing your position, etc. cetera. Um, but even look at my mates. So one of them, uh, did three, I guess he's a little lighter. Um, but yeah, like 40 second difference. And I guess maybe that is the weight there. Um, but you can see people did 258. I got, yeah, she, she got, um, a course record, I believe. But yeah, 258 watts. And you're like, hang on a minute. That's like 50 watts less than me yeah maybe she weighs a little, little lighter i'm not sure i don't think so um but you know and that's a significant time difference and i guess the thing you have to realize with time trials is that ultimately um you can in increase your speed uh by increasing your uh sorry increase your speed by just depends how much money you spend 
Um, but yeah, that would be like, yeah, so it's pretty similar weight to me, maybe a little, mm, little heavier, but yeah. So it definitely gives me some more motivation that like, okay, you can do decent power, but look at, look at these people behind me. Like, I guess they're a minute behind, but like 226 watts, the person who got the same time as me, 265 watts. So for sure, I know that like, in anything, it's actually quite reassuring because I'm like, I can do a, you know, an average time. It's, it's not great. Um, you know, I, I, I lost, you know, four or five minutes to the guy who won. Um, so yeah, for sure, it's not unbelievable. Um, sorry, I lost four minutes to him over quite a short time. So, you know, he's 25% quicker, more or less. Um, but it's more like, you know, if you do get the skin suit, that's going to save a lot of time. Get the aero helmet, that's going to save a lot of time. And then, you know, the wheels, I guess they are important to a certain degree, but not that much. But my bike in itself, I believe, is pretty aero. Um, like, obviously, the, the frame tubing and stuff seems pretty good. Um, so I reckon, yeah, like, just a little bit of investment, maybe get some, um, like, with this, this skin suit and the aero helmet. Um, then that would definitely help me, like, increase my speed a long way. Um, I had shoe covers on, and also, like, I guess it's cold as well, but it's more in comparison to other people. But anyway, like, I'm pretty happy with my first effort. Like, you know, the, the whole point of my TTing, and people are like, well, why do you TT when you're so small? You're never really going to do that well. Well, number one, Ronnie Kuba is, a, like, same height, same height weight as me, pretty much. And he smacks out big TT. Like, he is fucking fast in his TTs. So, and he has, he has all the equipment, but he also does have a lot more power in the TT position than me, for sure. Like, on an upper climb, I reckon, you know, it would be similar, maybe, maybe you know, pretty similar. But... You know, on the TT position, for sure, he can do way more power, but it's because he's trained so much. I remember him saying he did 400 hours over the winter in the TT position. I mean, like, that that shows. Um, so, yeah, I know he's had wind tunnel testing and all the rest of it, but that's what I'm saying. As a small guy, you can do well in TTs, but the number, the second reason, more important reason, is because I'm often quite soft in the mind, and, like, I sort of give up. Even on this one, after, like, eight minutes, I was like, this really hurts. But the reason I want to do more TTs is because in the UK, we don't have 20-minute climbs. So testing yourself for 20 minutes, which is really important, um, in order to build up more aerobic base, and also when I do do longer climbs, it just helps a lot doing TTs because they're sort of similar effort, and a lot of it I find for me is more mental than anything else. Like I know physiologically I can do quite a lot of power when I'm really motivated, but when I'm not motivated, I just give up or just do dreadful power. Um, so I have a 25 mile TT next weekend, um, which is going to be you know hopefully I get sub one hour. I don't know, that's sort of my goal, but I reckon. You know, after this performance, it's going to be pretty tough to do sub one hour. But, you know, we'll see different courses, all the rest of it. And it was quite windy today as well. But anyway, uh, we'll see. But it's more just like, you know, you get the the motivation. And if you can have that self-driven motivation of just killing yourself for an hour, um, that's only going to be a good thing. In road races, it will seem easier, especially when you have other people you're racing against. So I guess that's the reason why I'm doing TTs. And, you know, you can do well when you're small. So anyway, cheers for watching. I hope you did enjoy this little video. Um, I'll probably have a race footage video out as well today. Um, maybe for Colombia, I haven't decided. But anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next one.